This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description. All right, this is something I'm proud of. Um, this is a brand new rod, 9 foot, 2 inches. Uh, I just got it the day before I shot this, so uh, this is late summer 2020. 9 foot 2 inches, um, I would say 3 quarters to 3 ounces, although we're going to show it throw a little bit heavier than that. Um, yeah, it's a two-piece, but it fishes very much like a one-piece rod. And it has, um, it's, uh, you see that moderate action on there where you get to put the full length of the rod, um, put pressure on a fish with that. And this gives the ability to really muscle a large fish while still enjoying things like schoolies and uh, you know, smaller fish. And we're going to get to see uh, an example of, of both of those. And the rod fishes like a one piece because it's got that 70 30 split to it. Um, now, the other thing about the moderate action on this is it allows the rod to load up when you cast a lure. And it makes casting so effortless. It like casts the lure for you. Um, this rod is, this is the same rod. This was the last prototype. I mean, to, to do this, you go back and forth with the factory a couple times. So this was the final prototype. The only difference between this rod and the final product, uh, it's just cosmetic, and the real one has uh, better guides than this test rod. But yeah, this is it in action, and uh, also gonna have some interesting fishing here. I wanna draw your attention, behind the plug, probably gonna be hard to see, there's a huge boil behind that plug. And it probably looks like nothing on video, but I can tell you from where I was standing, I know that's a 30 pound class striper, and that's, you know, this is on an evening, summer evening, there's not much going on. Uh, that's a big fish, and you know what? I believe that's the same fish right there. And again, it's hard to see it on the video. Yeah, the cow jumped over the plug. That was a big fish. Okay, this is the next cast after uh, that fish jumped over the plug. Now, <clears throat> the important thing is, on neither the swirl nor that jump over the plug did the fish touch the plug, never touched it. So I feel like that fish is still in play. And this is a real warm evening. Uh, is kids on the nearby public beach swimming. You're going to hear them in a couple of seconds just before this next hit. Okay, let's talk about the reel. It's a Pen Battle 3 DX. It's just becoming available now. Uh, it's got some improvements over the Battle 3. Um, it has machined brass machined main gear. Uh, it also has an extra bearing underneath the spool to make the drag smoother and it's got this great EVA knob on there um, it just makes it such a comfortable reel now I got all excited here right you know this is the cast after that big fish jumped over and, and so I immediately thought that was it it's not but it's going to give you a look at how the rod performs with a smaller fish and this is just uh, a relatively small blue fish we'll get this one out of the way and then we're going to move on to something um, much bigger Okay, so this plug is 2.6 ounces. I can tell you throws a six inch die with salt pro beautifully. Uh, the sweet spot on bucktails is probably three quarters to two ounces. And this is actually an improvement of the rod that I use for decades uh, for throwing live eels to big stripers. So um, very versatile. Ah, he just spit up the back half of an adult bunker. All right, and, and that's gonna figure into uh, this plug change that I'm gonna make. Okay, after that big fish swirled the plug the first time, uh, I made a color change. I put on the exact same model of plug, but I went from the yellow to the silver, and then it jumped over the plug. So uh, now I'm going to throw something else. And I like using the waiter in the restaurant analogy, where the waiter came up to the table and said, uh, would you like to have the chicken tonight? And you said, no, I don't think so. You would not expect the waiter to go, well, then how about chicken? I mean, to me, that's the same thing as throwing that same plug to a fish that just turned away from it uninterested. So here we go with a 3.5 ounce uh, Jigging World Spook. All right, and that slow retrieve with this rod action will have that plug on the surface, just kind of darting back and forth, side to side, this exaggerated side-to-side -side motion really seems to set these fish off. 
this plug also, these, these spooks, they make noise. It's a clack, clack, clack as that thing's going side to side. I cannot imagine that that fish does not know that plug is there. And so I'm going to do something. I'm going to make a pause and I'm going to let it go from here. Right, note the power I can exert with that full bend in the rod like that. I can move this fish and I need to do that. You see a rock there? There's many other rocks. I need to put pressure on this and muscle this fish. I think most anglers would put a 5000 series reel on this rod. Uh, I go for a 6000. It helps me get the extra power I need in a situation like this. something like 75 seconds from the hit to get him up against the rock next to the beach but I screwed up I went to the wrong side of a rock there he woke up still not done Okay, and that rod is a Dark Matter, which is the store brand of j &H Tackle. And the model is a John Skinner rod. Alright, break out the oxygen tank. Hey, you know what? If you're not breathing heavy after that, then you should be doing something else. Uh, Alright, I almost never keep a striper, um, but by law, this has to go back because it's over 35 inches. Um, so, off he goes. Alright, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe.